In this video, we will see how users can record payment in and payment out transactions. First, we will see how to record payment in transactions. On the navigation bar, click on sales and under sales category, click on payment in. Now on the payment in page, click on create payment in. And users will land on record payment in page. Now enter the party name from whom you are receiving the payment. After the party name is selected, users will be able to view the current balance and all the outstanding invoices associated with the party. To settle any of these invoices, users have to mark the checkbox and the total payment amount will get auto updated in the payment amount field. If the party has detected TDS on the amount, then the users also have the option to apply TDS on each invoices separately. Now if the users click on save, then the payment in record will be generated settling all the selected invoices. Now suppose users wish to record payment in transaction without linking any invoice. In that case, users have to enter the amount in the given field and they will notice that the system will automatically settle the invoices in the chronological order starting from the oldest and progressing to the recent ones. If they wish to settle these invoices with this payment, then they can simply click on save. And if they do not want to link any of these invoices, then they can simply deselect all these invoices. On the right hand side, Users also have the option to edit the payment date, select the payment mode as cash, bank or check and they can also edit the payment in number. If users wish, they can also add any nodes in the given field. After entering all the required details, click on save. Now the system will ask. Do you want to settle more invoices with this payment? If you want to link any invoices, then you can click on settle more, else you can click on record anyway. Your payment in record is successfully created. Similarly, users can record payment out transactions. On the navigation bar, click on purchases. And under the purchase category, click on payment out. Now on the payment out page, click on create payment out. Similarly, here users have to enter the party name to whom they are paying the amount. Once the party name is added, users will see the current balance and all the outstanding purchase invoices associated with the party. Now either users can directly enter the amount in the given field or they can settle any of these invoices by marking the checkbox. Once all the details are added, click on save. and the payment out record will get created.